Hello! Welcome to a video on the geodetic, or ground, scale factor and ground distances in TBC, Trimble Business Center. This feature is in TBC version 4.10 and later. The ground scale factor and ground distances appear in labels and in the inverse command. Here we have the same data set as from the double proportioning video. Um, these are RTK vectors on a township survey in southern Colorado in the United States. The first thing to do to get your scale factor set up is in the project settings. Under coordinate system, local site, down here for local site settings, we can specify our coordinate type. I'm going to go with grid and we can select a point on our site to use as our site location. So here we have a northing, easting, and elevation. And we can specify if we want to use ground coordinates, and we can specify our scale factor, or we can have TBC compute our scale factor for us based on our location and our current coordinate system. There's that. Now that we have our coordinate system specified, we can use the inverse command. I'm going to inverse between these two points here to compare our points to the plan distances. So we have from 500600A to 600600A, we have a grid azimuth, a grid distance, geodetic azimuth forward and backward, and we have our ground distance. It's the important thing here. We have both, of our, both our grid and our ground distances specified in the inverse command. So here our ground distance is 5,291.476 feet. If we want to compare that to the plan, our plan is in chains. So I'm going to add the alternate distance on here. Check out the alternate project unit video for more information on that. And I will do that inverse again. And now, so our ground distance is 80.174 chains. And on our plan, we had 80.17 chains. All right, I'm going to open up another project here. OK, this is that same data set, except now it has been drafted and labeled. Here it is on a nice sheet with a north arrow, scale bar, everything like that. I'll come back to the plan view here. We'll focus on, let's go to the same spot, shall we? So here I have different line styles set up and different label styles set up to go with different lines accordingly. We're going to focus on the green ones here. Sorry for those colorblind members in the audience, but the green ones are the largest text. These specify each of the quarter section lengths, or the 2,600 some feet, 2,600 some feet. These are grid distances currently. If we want to add uh, ground distances to that, we go on our label style manager. That's my green label style. And I want to do a line ground length. I want to have it one above, and let's put a prefix on there of ground, just for demonstration's sake. Typically, you'll have one label type or the other label type, but I'll have them both on just that way. We can all revel in how cool this is. And there we go. Um, if we want to flip the labels around, we can highlight them both, right click, and swap label sides. We'll spin them around. Um, that way you can have all of your labels on one side or the other, and then you can adjust accordingly so that your plan can be nice and neat. Like up here, I might do that with these yellow ones here. Put them up there to keep them off this line. So we have our ground distance, and we have our grid distance, and we have our bearings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you think I missed or anything you'd like me to go over in more detail. Let me know what you liked, let me know what you didn't like, and thanks for watching.